You're watching Chewing the Cut with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Room. Metal Mickey, Dusty the Bin, Bully. That's all I'm saying. But you now have to explain those things to everybody else. I don't else have to cause... explain anything to anybody. They can find it themselves. Anyway, what have you got for us today, Mike? Well, I've got a sweet story today. Do you? That might just bankrupt you. Oh, <laughs> on screen now you can see our contact info. It's at The Cud TV on social media where you can follow us, The TV for our website, and on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as names boogie woogie along the bottom of the screen, we get ready for this week's show, Biz Widley. <laughs> Would you like to hear about a pop comeback, Mike? No. No, well, I'm going to tell you anyway. Ah, okay. Robbie Williams is on his way back again. Oh, back, 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 back again. Not for good. Probably about a year or so. Okay. So he, he's about to re -re not re release. It is re releasing. He's releasing his greatest hits, but he's recorded them in like orchestral style. Oh. This is the cover of, of his new album, um, 25. Those are Roman numerals for 25. I know, but I'm also concerned why he thinks he's 25. No, it's 25 years since he left Take That to go solo. Oh, okay. So, yeah. It worked out so well for It's 25 years since the release of his debut solo album, Life Through a Lens. Okay. But he's a, li he's a, he's a little bit upset because this time round is coming back with something that he used to have, but he's not got so much of anymore. Syphilis. No, he's, that's managed to clean up really nicely. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, his hair. Oh, okay. He's he's resigned himself to the fact that he's going through a period of hair loss um, after being refused a transplant. Now, this is a mock up <laughs> of what he looks like now. But that's what he head upside down. <laughs> I think it looks quite hot with the with the. Oh, actually, it looks a lot like me. Yeah, that's just freaked me out. But if we put a pair, <laughs> of, uh, if we, you think I'm hot? If we put a pair of glasses on, it would be you. Oh my God, it is. My secret is out. I don't want to rock, DJ. There you go. Is he blind? Is he blind? Yeah, no. Um, so yeah, he, he, he has been, apparently he's been quite open about losing his hair over the years. Uh, and okay. he's previously compared his hair to a baby's bum due to the hair becoming increasingly thin. And it's full of shit. So that not me. He's tried various treatments, including a hair transplant in 2013. Seven years later, he went back to get another one. And they said that his hair was too thin for, for them to redo it. So he then went, he can't, he, can't, he can't take like pills to, to stop it um, because they affect his depression. Okay. So he's just going to have to, he says, I'm just going to have to accept it. Although he did spend a huge amount of money on injections into his scalp oh. that cost him the same price as his grandma's house that he was told that it would grow his hair back thicker in, in five months, and it didn't. Really? That's a shock. Shocker. Yeah. Um, so basically what he's saying is, is that he may well have to go down the old wig route. Do you know, that's all, just do that. Just don't bother. Just either don't bother or get a glue-on piece. Just accept the fact that your hair's not there anymore and move on. It's not your hair that people... Mm. Well, it's not his talent that they care no, about, is it? Yeah. So he's, he's been musing on the downsides of stardom, and he's kind of like saying he's feeling very self-conscious about it. So he said, when I'm, a, when I'm there on stage on a 40-foot screen, and people are looking back at me, and I'm giving it the big un, doing the sexy, and then I look behind me, and there's this guy with a double chin and no hair. Welcome to my world. I don't get it. It's like, thank you for humouring me. Well, accept that and just move on. Rake the millions in and then be on the way. I don't feel... I, I, haven't, I haven't got sorriness for him. I don't, sorryness. sorryness. I don't, I don't have, have empathy for this because just either shave it off, wear a hat, no, or I, wear a wig. I get when you first start realizing that you're going bald, it can it can hit your confidence. But he's had his arse hair transplanted on top of his head, and it still hasn't worked. Sad but times. You just you kind of get used to it and go, you know what? I don't have to spend any money on shampoo anymore. No. The cost of living crisis less impacted. Go for a full on Beyonce weave. That's what I do. Anyway, let's move on to <laughs> under this hat. Twelve inches. Let's see. No. Like every man that says he's got twelve inches. <laughs> it's <a lie. laughs> da, da, da. Anyway, let's go on to another remake, another film remake. Ooh. Are you afraid of spiders? No. What about a tarantula? No. no. If one, if there was a tarantula on your shoulder, would you be scared? 
Does it have a speech impediment? <laughs> that's how you say it, because that's where it comes from. Mexico. Tarantula. <laughs> No? Okay. What about Huntsman? Because I have them in my garage. We know I have, have those Huntsman. in my garage. We do! They jump! Anyway, right? Do you remember... <laughs> do you remember the 1990 film Arachnophobia? I am aware of its work. Have you seen it? Ooh. So... It's it... not me going to the toilet for three weeks. Did it give you constipation? No, because it... there's spiders on the Oh, toilet. okay. Right, okay. Yeah, it, I think it had that effect on a lot of people. There's, there's, there's a poster for the original film. So basically, the, the setup of the original 1990 film was it was, a, a, they call it an American natural horror comedy because it was about nature and stuff. It and was it, a little bit funny. And it was a little bit funny. So yeah, Jeff Daniels and, and, and um, John Goodman in it. And it's about these kind of like this, this scientist that came back from, he died in Africa. The spiders got into his coffin, so came back to the so US. He got bitten by one of these spiders that lived inside him when sat when he was put in the coffin and then came up to the US. Yeah. And then those spiders came out yeah. and then infected this town and, and just attacked people. It was horrible. They but like also it was funny. It some of it was funny, but like the nail gun bit. Yeah, but the one where it screamed, it went <coughs> and it yeah. So that so like all films, they, it did the the I would nail gun through you and set you on fire, see if you give a bit of a noise. <laughs> Mm. You'll go, oh no, please. We've, we've got, we, we have got a bit of a, we've got a, we've got a scene from, from the film uh -huh. um, with, um, that's, that's, that's the new poster, which again, that's, I'm that not is happy. not good, I'm not is happy it? With that spider spider scene, in please. your ear? No, no. But we do have a picture. Yeah, that's from the original film. Now, the difference between the original and the new one is, is that in the original, CGI wasn't particularly well good. used, so they had to use a lot of like practical effects. Um, and real spiders. Um, whereas now it's probably the, the kind of the people that are going to make it are the same people that kind of have done things like Jurassic Park and those films that use a lot of CGI. Although I think it'd be quite good if they could see if they could like recreate animatronic type spiders. Just just you know for that kind of thing. So we don't really know the the, the storyline at the moment. It's okay. just whether it's going to be a remake or whether it's going to be a sequel. Okay, to the thing, but if you if you if you're afraid, of, I mean, I want that spider. That's a cute spider. Lucas the spider, cute. And the problem with that is cute spiders deadly. Like redbacks. If you ever see a redback, it's actually quite pretty. It's like a little ladybird. Just kill them all. Right and dead. Squashed everything. Bites you dead. Squash it. Squash it. Um, don't squash spiders. They are part of the, the uh, ecosystem. The ecosystem. Spray them with hairspray. That usually works. And a lighter. And yeah. Like an arachnophobia. Yeah. Indeed. Anyway, let's move on to something a little bit more palatable. Um, Russell T. Davies, he is on fire at the moment, isn't he? Not literally on fire. Someone, someone thought but, he was a spider. But, but, but career-wise on fire. Yeah. He's, he's done It's a Sin. He um, rewrote his own Queer as Folk, that, which is currently on streaming now, the American version. He didn't write it. Did he not? What did he do, Mike? He was inspired by... He was inspired by his... Yeah, he, what he wasn't. He oh, okay. I did not know that. No, I oh. watched it and found out. Was it not very good? Oh, it was brilliant. There were a lot of whoa. Oh, what channel is it on? What streaming service? Streaming Netflix. Oh, I'll have to have a look at that. Or well, Amazon Prime. Oh, it's one of them. One of those. Okay. Anyway, the gays will love this. The gays will love this. He is part of writing a new series called Nolly, which is about um, Noel Gordon. So for those those gays of a certain age, so you will remember Crossroads, which was which was the shunkiest soap ever, which is rumored to be the the inspiration for Acon Antiques. Yes. Um, so and El Dorado. And El Dorado. So Nolly is going to be um, a four part series. Helena Bonham Carter. So on the on the left here we've got the actual Noel Gordon. On the other side, we've got Helena Bonham Carter. It's not very easy to say her name. Um, she's going to be playing Nolly, or Noel. Okay. Um, and yeah, so th that's her actually playing her in in the, in the program. I do like her as an actress. She, yeah, she's a bit, bit weird for weird sake. But no, she's, she's in the Crown, Princess Margaret. Yeah. The Crown. And I, I bloody love Princess Margaret. Those are so for adverts at the moment. She's in. 
Yeah, so ITV are, are saying that that it, this is is about the, her legend in her own lifetime. Bit of shade there. Um, so Meg Richardson was her character in the Long Running Soap Crossroads. So it's all about that. She kind of she kind of got quite big for her television boots and they chucked her off the show okay. so um the, the the height of the show's popularity they axed her without any kind they just kind of you know, that's it you're up you're gone and um yeah so it's all about kind of like the pro this is this is a a, a, a mock-up of the television program so there was benny who was the the gardener who, who loved miss diane miss diane um not very politically correct nowadays not really um but it's it's going to be quite an interesting story because he writes a good he writes a good docudrama. He does. He's um so it, it's it's also gonna have Mark Gattis in it. Gatis. Is it Gatis or Gattis? Gatis? Mark Gatis. Um he's gonna be playing Larry Grayson. Ooh. Um, <laughs> um who was one of her close friends. Um and it's gonna be premiered on ITV's brand new free streaming service, ITV X next year before transferring to linear transmission transmission linear transmission i don't know what that means traditional tv Just put it on normal telly um months later so there you go normal telly like the fancy telly that's the end of this week's showbiz news thanks for that lee and the fancy telly telly welcome uh, stick around because next it's mike with the buzz Watching Chewing the Cod with Lee and Mike. Now it's time for us to do our fake pun faces and pretend that we're interested and go over to Mike and the bus. This coming from a man who's wearing a toilet chain around his neck. Um, so this week on the bus, I've been... Stop a minute. Can we just stop a minute? The old lady threw this into the ocean in the end. I went and got it. So she was fly tipping into the sea and you went and grabbed a, a rubbish. That's sexy. You see, the thing is, before we started recording, I shoved that on my app. I thought it was an anal bead. I knew there was a musty, musty, must smell taste about it. <laughs> anyway, do carry on. i douched. Anyway, um, have you ever had something happen to your body? that you weren't expecting? Many things. Like what? Oh, all sorts of things. I mean, apart from accidental farting. I had a stroke once. Oh, well, did you? <laughs> a TIA. Mm. That was quite serious. Mini stroke. Yeah, a mini stroke. Yeah. Mm, that was quite unexpected. You know, but that's Did not... you die? No, I'm still here, Mike. Okay. Well, so I was hoping we could explain the smell. <laughs> um, well, this is about a man, right, who suffers with 100 erections a day. And his Isn't poor that just girlfriend. A normal person. And his, no, and his poor girlfriend. Okay, um, so she's spoken about her unusual sex life, saying her boyfriend has up to a hundred erections a day, and she's getting a bit tired. Well, just because just he's got having a hundred erections a day doesn't mean to say she has to have sex on that erection a hundred times a day. She can't say no. There is a choice here. Don't want to, thank you. <laughs> Give it a flick. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. Take it away. I'm I'm watching Homes Under the Hammer. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, can't get it away anyway. Um, Lucas, who's 39, and Vicky, who's 31, met by chance in Morrison's, which I think is quite sweet. They met in Morrison's. And, and by chance in Morrison's? By, yeah. Did they it, like humping in the dry... Plan to go to Morrison's together. Oh, OK. It was a chance meeting. Um, and he was buying lube. They've enjoyed a passionate relationship. <laughs> in um, Morrison's. In Morrison's, yes. <laughs> all in Morrison's. Um, but she said her partner's directions are so frequent, they can happen any time. So she's in the shop or going for a coffee. But that's what happens to every man. We get spontaneous directions a lot. No, well, not a lot, but it's not unusual. A <laughs> hundred times a day? Well, not a hundred times a day. So it's unusual then. Well, well I mean, is it life-threatening? Is it, is it something that could cause him any harm? Don't die from it. He just needs to get control of himself. But, but does he like tell her every time? Does he like go, I'm a number 57 love? <laughs> and she goes, Oh, that's nice. He's got a little, he's got a little ticket machine. <laughs> number 42, please. <laughs> um, so Does confetti go off when he reaches 100. So what he said is, She only needs to look at me and speak, and I get hungry for it. 
Oh, God. <laughs> right. If that pheromone testosterone link just hit correctly, right, I could easily come to bed and look at her and have an erection. I, c- I fall asleep with one and I wake up with one. I mean, we all wake up with one. He's just a horny little it's shit. Nature's, nature's kickstand to stop me falling out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> this, it's the, then it is what it is, isn't it? He said that she's basically forbidden fruit at the minute and he just wants to eat it. Look, you can't have sex a hundred times a day. He just needs to buy a fleshlight. He do, that's a, you know, you know, just get a grip of yourself. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and shake violently. Yeah, it sounds a bit weird. It sounds a bit kind of creepy. Saying it was normal for a bit. Well, not the way he's kind of like saying, oh, I just got to look at her and I get an erection and I can't get enough of it. It's like, all right, Barbara, calm down. <laughs> you must be Barbara Cartland then. <laughs> just slow it. Quivering member. <laughs> you don't have to have sex every time you get an erection. You don't, Mike. Sometimes it's just you need a wee. From an erection? Sometimes you have a have a, an erection when you wake up in the morning It's and you need just need a wee. It's a piss erection. A wee erection. A wee erection. Yeah. You could be on the bus and the, just the vibration of the bus. I don't go on the bus. But the vibration of the bus could give you a, give you a stiffy. It's just one of those things. <laughs> She's become, if, if he wasn't getting, if he, if he was total cock flop, then she wouldn't be happy. Okay. You've got to, it's the balance. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, the balance is that he's got 100 directions a day. That's a lot. Well, he needs to stop telling people that he's getting 100 directions <laughs> a day and buy himself a sex doll or something. Okay. That's my advice. Thank you very much for the advice, Lee. We'll move on. Okay. Um, we'll talk about Greg's. Okay. You like Greg's? Cakes. Um, Pasties. Yeah. It's all right. It is what it is. It's the McDonald's of the pastry world, isn't it? <laughs> the McDonald's of the pastry yeah, world. Yeah, it's just like fast, fast pastry, fast food. Fast pastry. Yeah, they just you know make massive batches of the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, have you ever woken up at like two o'clock going, oh, I need a steak bake? No. Or dog food pasties or something? No. No. Never gone, oh, I need a vegan sausage roll between. No, they're my very cheeks. salty. Very salty, those vegan sausage rolls. They are very salty. You're mm. right. But you can still want one. Oh, no, I don't. I've never. No. no. Well, for those of you that do, there's good news. They're, they're trying to open a 24 hour Greg's in Leicester oh. Square. Oh, I'm surprised they've not really done that before. Well, the reason why they're not is because there's a police concern. Why? Because a 24-hour Greg's may start like antisocial behaviour. But, but there's 24-hour McDonald's and 24-hour KFCs and you don't see riots outside of them. Well, there is a lot of um, security. Is there? Oh, OK. Have you been in Manchester late night where there's door staff on McDonald's? No, I'm, 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 I'm middle class. Bed, you mean? <laughs> oh no, it's nine o'clock. I need to go. Yeah. Um, so the store currently opens from six till um, eleven. Is that not enough? No, we need those extra four hours, seven hours. Can't do maths. So yeah, um, Westminster City Council is said to decide after police are concerned that they'll have antisocial behaviour coming out of Greg's. You know, fights over sausage rolls and stuff. Oh, okay. Throwing things at each other. Throwing stuff at each other. Oh, okay. Um, and the police are just concerned. I just think, do you know what? Just because something you, you just because something you want something doesn't mean say so it should happen. Okay. It's like I come from a generation <laughs> when the shops were closed the on a Sunday. Generation. That was it. Saturday lunchtime, finish. Nothing until nothing until Monday. Can you imagine that? How archaic that was. Only it wasn't. People just knew you couldn't get anything until Monday. Just get a get a get a grip. What is the matter with? Oh, I'm going off on a rant now. I'm really sorry. Hadn't noticed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just buy your pies when it's open. When it's not, shut up. You can go to Iceland and buy them. Or buy them in bulk. You can go to Greg's Outlet places now, and they sell like <laughs> gallons of stuff, like misshapen <laughs> sausage rolls and stuff. They do. Is it Greg's? Yeah, it is Greg's. Greg's Outlets. Are we done. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Um, and if you wanted a rant, you could always tag us in it at the Could TV on social media. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, this was sent in by a fan. A fan? A fan. And, and I know, you know you've know you done some prep work for this. I have, yes. Yeah. And, and this is a, new, a way of making a healthy sweet. 
Yeah. Out of strawberries. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this was sent in for us. They've asked not to be named because of reasons that will become clear. Um, but did you know that straws, strawberries dried in the oven are healthy, full of antioxidants and taste like real sweets? Allegedly, that's mm -hmm. what it said on the thing. So just preheat the oven to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, bake for two hours, flip and continue for another two hours. They taste better than Twizzlers. Now, the reason why I've emphasised Fahrenheit, one of us had a mis mistake, didn't they? Yeah, actually, there might be two mistakes. Okay, which were? Temperature. Because you put it with 200 degrees yeah. Celsius. And I, and I may have sliced them. <laughs> okay. Instead of, I think I was supposed to just put, put them, them in, the, in hole. the oven, uh -huh. whole. At 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. Which is quite a cool oven. Yeah, 200 degrees C. So do you want to, to show the viewers what you have made with your strawberries and... Well... Shall we have a look what they're supposed to look like first? Okay. So they're supposed to kind of be like the... So these Harry are the ones I made. Type. So these are the ones you made. These are the ones I made. Yeah. All right, so I, I caramelised them. Like, oh, lovely. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be like. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is actually what I made out of a strawberry. Okay. <laughs> that's what I made. <laughs> it's it's carbon. <laughs> I mean, you can you can tell it was a strawberry once. I'm sorry. Let's let's just turn it that way. It sounds like styrofoam. It does. Shall we? Are we going to try it? Are we <laughs> going to try one? Yeah. Mmm, ashy. Tastes like styrofoam too. Tastes like charcoal, which is basically what it is. <laughs> oh. Was your house not filled with smoke when you did this? No. No, it, it, there, was a, there was an aroma. Of what? Fire. No, like... <laughs> like fruit. <laughs> like fruit, yeah. What is that? <laughs> yeah. So it just goes to show that the, the internet, it lies. No, it's not the internet that lies, it's people who don't know the difference between Celsius and Fahrenheit. <clears throat> the internet lies. Don't want to mind? Can I have a, <laughs> a normal, uh, like a proper one? One that I made, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Fahrenheit, you see? Mm. Mm. That's also my mother's mate. Mm. Oh, and it's true. Stick around, because coming after this, we've got our game of the week. watching Chewing the Cod. This week we are playing Movie Mo's and this is where our Movie Mo sat here moves off into the movie place. Yeah. Well constructed sentence that one Lee. Well done. Game of the Week. So for this game Mike is going to describe to me Popular movies, and I've got to guess what it is. Are you ready, Mike? Yeah. Yes, I am, Lee. Um, so, we've got a choice of four topics. Okay. You can choose not for kids. Mm -hmm. Heart warmers. Ah. From another world. Ooh. And remakes and reboots. No, ah. I'm gonna go with um, remakes and reboots. Okay, dogs. No. Oh. 1930s, Americana. Oh, I'm worth lots and lots of money, but I'm not really. Annie. No. Um, there's a green light at the end of a porch that you see, and that's how you know the person's in. And it's told through the eyes of a third party. Wonder years. 1930s. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio in a suit. Used a lot as a meme when he's going with a drink. Chinatown. No. Oh, um, is it the gangs of gangs of New no, York? Oh. No, Great Gatsby. <laughs> Whatever. Great Gatsby. I oh, know it's all right. 
All right. Okay. What do you want now? Heartwarmers, not for kids or uh, from another world? Not for kids. Not for kids. Small furry man. A thunder buddy. He's not super. He's just... Small furry buddy? Yeah, thunder buddy. Thunder buddy? Thunder buddy. Inappropriate. Smoke cigars, drinks. Small furry. He's not super. Word. He's just word. Um, 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 Wolverine. He's not super Wolverine, he's just Wolverine. Superman. Man. What else? Think cartoon in the 80s. That's furry. And small. No, we're out of time. It was Ted. Oh! Super Ted. Oh, sorry. Did not understand. I got that you didn't understand. Um, so you got heart warmers or from another world? Heart warmers. Okay. Jim Carrey, green. The mask. Furry. Oh, f off. Um, oh, um, um, the Grinch. Yes, the Grinch, in which Jim Carrey is green and furry. Yeah, but he didn't say furry. Initially, he said Jim Carrey green. Yeah, so the mask. mask. So I then narrowed it down and said furry. Somebody stop me. We keep trying to stop you. Smoking. So, yes. Um, so you've got From Another World left, so we'll go for that one. Yes. Right, um, I would shag him. Well, that could be any action, to be perfectly honest with you. Thor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy one. That was just straightforward. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we've got remakes and reboots, From Another World, Heartwarmers, or Not For Kids. I'll go for another Not Of This World, From oh. This World. From Another World. From Another World. Okay. Okay. So... There's less than 10 of these areas. Um, aliens that eat cat food. Really love cat food. And then a man gets sprayed with some black liquid and starts turning, for, turning to an alien. Based in South Africa. Project. No. Nope. Area. Yeah, no. No. But kind of like an area. In other words, for an area. Less than 10. Something now, precinct nine. Not, not precinct. So nine is in it? Yes. Area, location nine? No. A sector nine? No. Se I know the film. Okay, what's it called? But it's about the aliens. It's about the aliens. What's it called? Something nine. Yeah, Area what's that nine. Word? Segment no. nine. Contagion nine. No. I don't know. That's district nine. Oh! <laughs> Oh, yeah. I was close. You were very close. I was. If only you'd said the word district, you'd go it right. It would have been right, yes. So what do you want? Not for kids, heartworm... Heartwormers? Heartworm. Heartwormers or <laughs> remakes and reboots. Let's go for not for kids. Not for kids. Ballerina having a mental breakdown. Black um, Swan. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I loved that film. Not seen it? Have you not? No. I watched it on my birthday. Oh, that's cheerful. Yeah. On my own. Oh. Really should have. Dressed yeah. in a tutu? No, no, just in jeans. Just in jeans and a tie. Yeah, I'd been out to buy a new game. For, I'd bought a new version of SingStar. Okay, so you've now got a choice between Heartwarmers and remakes and reboots. Heartwarmers. Heartwarmers. Mm. Okay. Fat blonde girl can sing. Fat blonde girl can sing. Ah, um, I got a new life. Can barely recognise me. I'm so sad. Uh, so I'm throwing up as they sing. I saw the sign and it opened up my eyes and I am. Um, um, Pitch Perfect. Yes, Pitch Perfect. She's not a fat girl anymore. She was fat Amy in that. She was. Now she would be slim Amy. I should just be Amy. 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 Yeah, because it doesn't matter what size you are. Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, so you're now left with remakes and reboots. Well, let's go for that one then. Adolescent, genetically altered, martial arts. Teenage Mutant yes. Hero Turtles. <laughs> what was that? Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Oh, not Hero Turtles. Not Hero Turtles. Hero was. They were heroes in a half shell. Yeah. Turtle power. Turtle power. 
Yeah. That's because the BBC didn't like the term ninja. They thought it was too aggressive. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Not seen that either. Okay. Um, I'm going to pick for you now. Oh, okay. Um, heart warmers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's me locating men. I know where to get them. You locating men? Because mm -hmm, I know where to get them. You'll have to give me more than that. Okay. Um, wonderful Monsters. Written by a transphobe. Somewhere about beasts and where, um, uh, fantastic beasts and where to find them. Correct a mundo, yes. Oh, Correct -mundo. okay. Well, there's a choice. Um, next one, not for kids. Okay. Red leather, sexually aggressive. I'd do him. Melted Red leather. Oh, um, Deadpool. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the thing is, you, you joke about, oh, no, it'd be so many people. As soon as I said I'd do him, you know exactly who it is. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. From another world. Small people, big hairy feet. Hobbits. Yes. Hobbits. The Hobbit. <laughs> Never seen that either. How, why have you not seen these films? Because it's boring. How do you know if you've not seen it? Because I know it's boring. It's got, it's got Gandalf in it. It's boring. Okay. Too long. Okay, so remakes and reboots. Okay. Okay. I pity the fool. Uh, pity the fool. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be Mr. T. Uh huh. Rocky. No. Oh. Other one. Du, 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 yeah. du, du, the A team. The A team. Yes, well done. Oh, but he wasn't in it. He wasn't in it, but you got the name of the movie. Yes. What, what the game is. It's not, I didn't see that. Let's see. Not really my thing. Not really my. I'm not the really demographic for the. I A -team. used to watch the A team on a Saturday. When I it did. When, yeah, when it was out, when it was back in the day, but not but not the reboot. I always wanted to give Mr. T a cuddle. Did you? Yeah. Did you want to stick your finger up one of the other's bums? No. No. I, to give Mr. T I always wanted to give Mr. T a cuddle. Okay. Later in life, that turned to something more adventurous. But Did it? Yes. Um, Just put this jewellery on, love. Some sort of pearl necklace. Anyway, um, so not for kids, heart warmers from another world, or remakes and reboots. Not for kids. Not for kids. Okay. Um, place in South America. Well, the southern states of the United States of America. The opposite of selling something. Buying. Okay, so... Somewhere in Texas. To be that specific. Buying Arizona. And then it's a group of people sharing the same interest. I don't know the movie, so I'm having to just give you alternate words. Buying Arizona crack. No, because Arizona is not in Texas. Is it not? No. Hence that hence the, them having different names. Buying Mexico. No. I don't know. So somewhere in Texas, opposite of selling, group of people with similar interests. The something something club. The something something club. You got so club is the right word? The, the Texas No. No. The something buying club. Yep, so what's the first so go? Places in Texas. I don't know. It was the Dallas Buyers Club. Oh, is that got Matthew McConaughey in it? I don't know. I didn't know the movie. I think it is. <sighs> I've got long enough now. Bored now. Stick with us, people, if you've not already thrown yourself out a window, because after this, it's that science that is. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now, it's that part of the show that we call that science that is. That science that is. So in the past, we've done some, I'm going to say some exciting things. And we've done some things that are slightly, I'm going to use the word shonky. I'll let you decide what this one is. Um, but the first thing we're going to talk about is imagine if you will, you are an international man of mystery. Okay. Okay. That you are in espionage. Lesbianage? Espionage. Espionage. You're a spy, love. Okay. As you're a spy, okay? And you need to communicate with the outside world. Right. Okay. Just, re just remember that. Just that's, yeah. that's the theme that we're going for. Okay. Are you going to teach me how to use a phone? 
No, no, this is even better. Oh. This is this is unhackable. Unhackable? Unhackable. So it's not like someone can listen to your call conversation with what we're going to do today. No. So what you should have there is a lemon. I do have a lemon. Okay. Lemon? Lemon. We need to remove the juice from the lemon into Ooh. your specimen cup. Into this tiny little tub. Yes. So I'm going to suggest you roll your lemon first. On Between my table. thighs. Oh, okay. They're your hands. I know they were my hands, but Between you know. Between my thighs. Yeah. So give it a good, good rub. Okay. Because what that's going to do is going to break down the cell walls in the lemon. Lemon. Right. And if you're rolling it one way, then roll it the other. So roll it the comfortable way, then the uncomfortable way, and then back to the comfortable way. That's going to really make sure it's broken up. Okay. I'm not going to get it in the neck for covering this in lemon juice, am I, from the gallery? <laughs> no, because it's got wax. Oh. Like you poured wax over the last time we did last time. Like okay, so now you should have a, a cutting implement. I do. Okay, I want you to cut open your lemon and squeeze the juice into your little pot. Do, 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 do. Ow. Oh, I haven't cut deep enough. The first cut is the deepest to show, Carlson. Okay. So just squeeze the juice into the squeeze liquid. Squeeze the juice into your specimen. Do I need do I need to take a pip out? Doesn't matter because it's the juice we need. But if you get a pip, you get a pip. From both halves. You just you just need a substantial amount of, of juice from your lemon. Juice lemon. <laughs> <laughs> what was the the accent voice thing for? Juice lemon. A very juicy lemon. They are very juicy lemons, aren't they? Yeah, I've got, I've, got, I've got a substantial amount. Got a substantial amount. Yeah. Yes, okay. So now you're just going to pop your your your, your crushed, spent lemon to one side. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, what we need to do is create an implement. An so implement. with one of your sheets of paper, mm -hmm. which you have, yeah, I want you to tear a strip. Horizontal or vertical? Whichever your heart desires. Just not that way. <laughs> Now, with your strip, I need you to cre create a very thin, pointy cone. With the end. With the end. So you need to be able to make it long and thin. Which is a bit difficult when you've got lemony fingers. I have just realised. I think I've done it. Well, that's a dexterous. And now what you're going to do, okay, you need to tell someone where you are, give them an important message. But you don't need, you want anybody else to find out. So on your other piece of paper, you just realised what we're doing, aren't you? No, I, it's, it's, the, it's the commentary by the gallery. Okay. That is making me snigger. So using your pointy piece of paper. Yes. Give it a little dip, dip, dip in the lemon juice. Yeah. Right? You're going to use it like a quill and write a secret message on your paper. Using the lemon juice. Was it, is that a valid question from the gallery that we just got it asked? Wasn't, yes, so what was the question they had? Can you do it with piss? So the answer is no, you can't. Um, okay, so once you've, you've, you've written your secret message... Okay. Just let me know when you've written your secret message. Okay. Okay. And you'd, you'd, you'd post this off. No blank piece of paper. You have to wait for it to dry so that the message cannot be seen. Well, you, you, yeah, drying would, would help. Pretty much you can tell what my message is. Yeah, but when it dries, you won't okay. be able to see it. So you'd be able to post this off. Right. Okay. And then what would happen is at the other end, the person would need to read your message. Really? So what it's they would it? what they would need to do is caramelise. Yes, caramelise the naturally occurring fructose in the lemon juice. And the way that they do that, have you realised what we're doing yet? No, it's the sniggering that's going on <laughs> in the gallery. The gallery have worked out what we're doing, that's we're why gonna, they're We're going to set fire to the underside of it, aren't we? We are going to heat it gently with a lighter. Okay. But you're not allowed a candle after what you did with the wax last time, so we now have to use lighters. Uh oh. So yeah. So just gently, using your lighter, yeah, rub it underneath the, the paper like so. On which the side that I've written on? Is on no, the, the underside. And as if by magic... A large flame. As if by magic, you'll see words start to appear. 
Oh, he's on fire! <laughs> What's on fire? The paper? My well, paper was on fire for a oh, moment. Seth, oh, well, maybe do it the way I'm doing it then, Lee, rather than doing it the way you're doing it. What? Which way are you doing it? So I'm holding the paper up like this and then rubbing the, f the flame on that side. Which side? On the other side. It's just singed. Hot! Well, yes, it's easy with a candle, but again, we're not allowed to use candles because someone pours the wax over the table. Have you got your message showing it? Yeah. Here's mine is. It's hot, man. It's fire, Lee. It is hot. Why am I just send a text message instead? Well, no, because you can hack a text message. This is unhackable. Ow! Maybe stop touching the hot part of the lighter. But there we have. See, I've got a message there. Nearly. By the time, they've, by the time you've done this, Whoever it is, dead. yeah, we'll be dead. You would be dead. Ooh. We see your message. I'm gone. I've not finished. <laughs> <laughs> what did your message say? Help me. That says help too. Does it? I've got me down here, but I haven't developed the me. So I'll see if I can get the me to appear as well. The me appearing gallery. I can't see the other side of this at the minute. Just they get really get much closer with the flame. What? <laughs> get much closer with the flame. Oh, oh. no! Oh no! Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! Oh oh oh! Oh no! Flame! Fire in the hold! But the good news is, I'm alive because they read the message before it burst into flames. Oh! Um, and that science that is. That science, that is. Yeah. Huh? Is that from the, the 007 School of uh, Espionage? That's one of the things I used to do as a kid. Is it? Yeah. Fire. Fire and lemon juice. And lemon juice. Yeah, just get shouted out for using up all the, the Jif lemon. Jif lemon. Yeah, it's squeezy lemon. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you. I, I imagine you were one of those kids. Well, they used up the Jif lemon. No, they kind of like set fire to things, magnifying glasses, you know, burning creatures and stuff like Ants. that. Yeah. Mm. I want stuff for the bonfire. Did you? Yeah, he used a magnifying glass. It wasn't an intended bonfire. Had you gathered the things together? No. I left a magnifying glass on an old tree trunk. Oh. And went inside for a drink of water. <gasps> and that's how half of the Amazon forest is now no longer with us. Yeah, because I was in the Amazon as a child. It reflected. Off, off what? Off, off the sun. The sunlight reflected off, off the sun. The, 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 yeah, it did. Off the plane, as it was, yeah. Well, okay. Well, that's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv and on YouTube and podcast services, search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Got the lemon juice. Shut the lemon juice. No. Shut it, 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 shut